Alright, Shalom, call hello la Yahweh by Hashem Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Shalom also to the Akim, you brothers that's pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to you, Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All forefathers, though you do look like the heathen nations you're scattered amongst, which the heathen nations that you see on this chart are the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if Bear with me, your lineage, your bloodline goes back to these people, as you see on this chart right here, through the man. And if your spirit bear witness with this word, this truth, you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child. This does apply to you. You are Israelites, though. Once again, you do have, though you look like the other nations, you scattered amongst. You do, you know, to the scattering these people in this chart. So you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites, you know. Because they're under the curses of uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28, the 15th verse went down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they're the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the men. No matter who they, what they come looking like. If their father's an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also to the few Akwaf, you few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, and believe. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, or maybe scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Who this world is going out to, Shalom to you as well. To so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you could uh, uh, combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the uh, uh, chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you can call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and um, I uh, want to um, Go into uh, uh, what I seen yesterday dealing with uh, this dude, you know, Rick Ross. You know, um, bear with me, find the article. And this right here, you know, this right here is what, you know, made me want to basically do a, uh, basically a response to this. But it says, you know, Rick Ross demands Terry Crews step up for the, you know, the black community. Issues new challenge to 50 Cent. So, as you see right here, it says, On Thursday night, August 6th, Rick Ross and 2 Chain squared up for their anticipated versus matchup. It did not disappoint. The two rap behemoths slugged it out with their unshakable catalog and delivered new unreleased music for fans to savor. Ross' narrow margin victory included a uh, fistful of surprises, most notably a lost, work, lost verse from Kanye's 2016 track, Famous and Preview. Of his latest single, Pent to the Cross, which I don't, this, this stuff talking about their album, it don't matter, it's not important, but I'm trying to find a point, but I think it's coming. But it says, the latter finds the self-proclaimed boss ruminating on the tough times endured by, you know, so-called African-Americans, Judites, while spewing venom at Terry Crews, who as of late has been under attack for his lack of support towards the black community. Terry Crews is another you know, Coon, that's what I'm guessing it says, who was basically bought raps Ross on a relief track. And that's what, uh, you know, that's what uh, uh, got on me, you know, got to me, you know. How are you going to sit here and say that Terry Crews, you know, is a Coon that, uh, uh, which I'm not defending Terry Crews. How are you going to sit here and say he's a Coon, you know, that's bought, which he's basically saying he's bought by the Lee Banker families, and you in the same step, man. Okay, ain't you you bought uh, uh uh by the elite banking families? You know, you you bought you 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 been paid for too. You not in uh that Hollywood or releasing you know certain albums on your own. You gotta go through them to do that, man. You wanna you on a contract just like them, man. You know. Just let me get the scripture real quick. See, oops. See, that's that's our people though, you know. 
Hold on, bear with me. That's Jake. Jake will turn around, and point out, you know, something, you know, about some somebody that looks like them, you know, and they turn around doing the same thing, man. Then you call them out on it. Then they they want they want to fight you or put you to death, you know. Real quick, bear with me. Yeah, this is a good one. You know, Slocky, I didn't put anything together, so I'm just going through the spirit. You know, uh, Sirocco, Ecclesiasticus 21, right? Right? And 29 it says, let me see. Yep, this is Sirocco 29. 1 and 29 says, be not an hypocrite, which, I won't get that word hypocrite, which of course you know what it means, but I just want to, you know, get it, right, a hypocrite, a person who indulges in hypocrisy, you know, says a use it says, and now the definition of a hypocrite is a person who pretends to have certain beliefs, attitudes, or feelings when they re when they really do not. And that's the majority of our people, man. You know? Yeah. It says, an example of a hypocrite is a person who says they care about the environment, but are constantly littering, man. And that's these clowns of our people that that so-called made in this world, man. They're hypocrites, you know? They come out and talk like, you know... They deep and, you know, uh, 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 they care about, you know, the community, you know. Just let me go to the scriptures, you know. I don't want to rant. Going back, let me read that. It's uh, Sirach 129. It says, Be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, and take good heed what thou speakest, man. Okay? And he ain't doing that, but uh, let me get another one. Right? This is uh Matthew seven and three. It says, "And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? Or if how would thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye, man? You know, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine eye, own eye, and then shall thou uh see clearly to." To cast out the mold of thy brother's eye, man. You know? So, that's what that's what you see here, man. Talking about, uh, like I said, I'm not defending Terry Crews. but talking about, you know, they both jakes. But uh, talking about he, uh, uh, he's a coon and he's bought and paid for, man. What about you, man? What about you, nigga? You know? Don't you uh see Terry Crews? He basically, you know, you know, he's a sellout too. You know, he just he's in movies. You know, he's a so-called comedian in some sort of level. Okay, what about you? What you do for the black community? You know, push out albums that promote dope, okay, murder, drugs amongst our people. But you talking about Terry Crews is a, 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 a is lacking for the community? He ain't on no uh doing no wickedness that you doing. You pushing adultery, murder, drugs. You you and all these other clowns, man. Lil Wayne and all the rest of them, man. You know, then you don't even live that lifestyle. You know, so yeah, hypocrite, man. You 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 are a, a, a bought by the Lee Banking families as well, man. You in their pocket too, you know. How you going to uh, turn around and say that, and you in the same, you know, you in the same stead as him, you know? That's but that's Jake, man. That hypocritical nation, like it says in Isaiah the tenth chapter, man. You know. And at the end of the day. So let me go back to the article. This dude, he talked about street life. This dude, if you look up, he was a, a, originally a correctional uh, officer, man. You know? 
And all of a sudden, you know, now he's just this thug, tattooed up, jewelry, you know, all that, man. There's a lot of these uh, uh, jakes up in uh, Hollywood scene, man. Because y'all are paid, you know, you're paid to do that, man. You're paid to let uh, uh, push that on our people and make them, you know, fall that lifestyle and go off, man. Basically, commit sin against your house by Shema Shah, man. That's what you set up for, you know. It says on the eve of the battle, Raw spoke to Billboard on his decision decision to screw, score Cruz when shit goes down. Ain't no time to explain yourself. You're either running with us or running from us. And who, who are you running with, Rip? Huh? Who are you running with? You know? You running with, are you are you are you serving your how about Shimao Shah? Because there's another thing. A lot of these celebrities, they know they know they Israelites, so they find out they Israelites, and they somewhat coming out and saying a little bit of uh, you know, truth. But then when uh these Am when Amalek, the so called Jew, check them, they come back out, just like Nick Cannon did. They come back out and apologize or they you know, they back they backtrack on what they said, man. So see, it, this, what did the scripture say? Is it, the Lord will have you either be lukewarm, hot or cold, not lukewarm, man. And these dudes are lukewarm. They can't uh, uh give up, you know, that status and the money that they got in the world, man. So so who like who are you running with, Rick Ross? You know, this all you uh uh you high level jakes, man. Who are you running with? Are you serving mammy money? That's given to you by a person. You serving Esau. You serving Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. But these clowns, they serve, they serve mammy, man. They not willing to, uh, 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 uh you know, to uh, uh, uh go go in the uh through the uh, straight gate, man. They want the broad and narrow, man, because it's more easier, you know. It says, let me let me read a little bit more. It says that's what it's all about. Ross offer. It gotta be obvious. Him tiptoeing and moving. The way he moves are bringing it to light. And he could take it however he want to take it. But if I ain't, if I ain't fucking king with him, let me see. Ross Candor, Candor also extended to his frequent collaboration, which that don't matter. You know, talking about he what? Saying he, um, I'm bringing it to the light. Well, your wickedness is being, all you, you, you celebrities wickedness is being brought to light. Okay. It's, all, it's being found out that you are uh, basically the white man's uh, uh, slave. Okay, you're paid to do what he tells you to do to make Jake go off. And you got to do satanic rituals. You got to sacrifice somebody you know that's clo you close to. You doing all that, man. You know, it's being found out. You know? So, all everything you're doing, you, you Esau, you know, these other nations, all that shit is being brought to light, man. You know, so let me um, cause you know this is this, this is getting old with these these celebrities, man. Which I don't really pay them no mind. I just allow them, you no. Know, they just, you know, you get my point. This is um, let me see. Bear with me. Uh, bear with me. This is um First Peter four and eleven. It says, "If any man speak, right, let him speak as the oracles." Hold, let me get this in the blue letter so I can go in the word oracle. So bear with me. All right, so this is uh First Peter four and eleven. So let's get the word oracles, right? The word is legion, legion, and it says a brief utterance, a divine oracle, doubt, doubtless, because oracles were generally brief. Um, it says right here, an utterance, the word, the words, and it says in the New Testament, the words of or utterance of Yahweh, man. 
Okay? So speak according to the words of your Howard, man. Not according to what you feel or you think is a solution, you know, or what you think should happen. Like they always come out and do, you know. So let me get this. First Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. By Shema Shah, if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Yahweh gives, man. Okay? But they're not willing to do that, man. They're not willing to uh, uh, let, because see, the, the Heavenly Father is not just going to give you, you know, the Holy Spirit. And you still uh, 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 in the world, right? You're still in the world, which of course we all in the world, but I'm talking about you, you, you fully in the world, you know? Past, you know, just getting by until and waiting on your heart by Shema Shah until he gets back. I'm talking about you following the customs of Babylon and you doing these satanic rituals. That's what I'm talking about, you know. But uh, he's they're not willing to do that, man. So they try to have one foot in the truth. They try to have one foot in the world. It don't work like that, you know. They're not willing to uh uh, uh become like it says in Romans the twelfth chapter to make their body a living sacrifice. They're not willing to do that, man. Okay, like that parable with the rich man, how he was, uh, he, uh, asked, you know, Yahawashah, you know, what does he have to do, you know, in order, uh, what did he say, in order to enter to the kingdom, Yahawashah said, you have to give up all them riches, man, and follow me, man, basically deny yourself and take up your cross, and what happened, the rich man wasn't uh, willing to do that, man, okay, it says that, y that Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahawashah. To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever, man. And every time you hear, you know, these, uh, you know, these jakes up in so-called celebrity world, this world, talk, you know, about, you know, what needs to be solved in, you know, the black, so-called black, Latino, Native, Native and Seminole Indians communities, they never mention Yahweh by Shema Shah. That never comes to thought, man. They don't, you never hear them talk about that. They always talk about, you know, uh. We need more black-owned businesses, black money, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. But that's not the solution. The curse is clearly said that curse shall be thy basket and curse shall be thy store, man. You know, it's only going to last for so long, man. Look at uh, uh, Tulsa, you know, Oklahoma, you know, Black Black Wall Street, all that, man. What happened? Jake was prospering. What happened? Esau blew it up, man. You know, that's the curses. They'll tell you uh, uh, we need to, you know... Protesting the streets like you see them doing now with Black Lives Matter, man, which that's wicked, you know. Protesting the streets, you got Jake's talking about, you know, grabbing arms and going to war with Esau with his own blessing. You got all this madness out here, man, you know. None of that is of your how about Shema Shah, that's of man, that's of you trying to receive glory for yourself. You don't speak, you're not speaking, uh, 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 uh according to the, the oracles of your how about Shema Shah, you're not even bringing up the names, man. You're not considering, man. So if you're not, uh, bear with me. This is Isaiah eight. Let me see. This is Isaiah 8 and 18. It says, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given, given me for a sign. Slaki. It says, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, have given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel. Okay? From the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep. And that mother should not be a people seek, should not a not a people seek on to their God for the living to the dead. You know, it says to the law and to the testimony if they speak to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, you know, the oracles of the most high, it is because there is no light in them. There's no light in a lot of these uh these jakes and the uh the celebrities of this world, man. They don't have the light, man. You no, know, they just going on emotions. They going on by sight, you know. They going on by, you know, stats and how much money they got, man. They ain't got no light in them, man. If you ain't, if you ain't, uh, you know, if you ain't, uh, uh, uh talking about, you ain't talking to our people when it comes to solutions. You ain't talking to our people about Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. 
and what they uh, the purpose of them are, you ain't talking about nothing, man. You know? You're not talking about nothing. You know? Bear with me. You're not talking about nothing, you know. All these, all these things that these, that these Ti and all them gotta say. What has that gotten our people, man? Nowhere, man. Okay, but now that the vibration, you know, in the names that Yahweh by Hashem is in the earth again, you seeing things happen, man. You seeing this man go down. You seeing him be exposed. His economy's collapsing. Okay, judgment's finally on the earth, you know. Before all that, before you how way outside with the things you Jakes was talking about, nothing was happening, man. You know, nothing was happening. You know. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. All right, this is Luke 11, right? And 23 says, He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth, man. If you're not, if you're not talking about your how will y'all shot, man, you just further, you know, uh, scattering uh, the sheep, man. You further scattering our people, man. Okay? You telling them to try to uh, go to you know go to school, get a degree, and all this other other stuff, man. You're scattering, man. You're further having them indulge in Babylon the Great, man. You know, and that's all these these uh celebrities, these Jakes in the celebrity world do. They're just set up by Esau as puppets and you know uh, uh, uh controlled op you know controlled opposition, you know to uh scatter you know our people and confuse our people even more, man. They have no morals, man. No integrity whatsoever, man. You know? And that's going to stop. You know? This is Titus. Right? One in ten. It says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers, man. And deceivers, man. Because that's all they are as well. They Like John 8 and 44 say. He a father of the devil, man. You know, he was a, 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 a murderer and a liar from the beginning, man. Okay? Speaking of you Israelites, man, you wicked Israelites, man. Okay? Especially starting with you you Israelites in the Hollywood scene, man. You know? You are your father of the devil, man. You do the same thing Esau do. All you talk about is getting uh, money, you know? You you uh, scheme to get you put out this facade like you something, you know? You uh rapping about something good, but you really just leading our people astray, man. Just like Esau do, man. Esau will come out as if he uh for your benefit, whole time he uh just trying to make money off you and put you to death, man. You know how many Jakes died off of 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 of, of, of these rappers, man? Cause I'm not saying it's, it's it's okay to listen to music, but you got a Jake that actually you know look at these 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 rappers as a, a father of figure, man. Because the father's not in the household, so who are you going to look to? You're going to look to uh, somebody that's you know, a dope dealer in your neighborhood. You're going to look to somebody that's on TV, man. That look like they made it. You know? So, he's a deceiver, man. You know? Says, let me read again. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. You know? It says, whose mouth, who mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things... Which they are not for filthy lucre's sake, man. Money, man. Gain, status, attention. You know? See, another thing is the whole Hollywood thing is drying up. This coronavirus has, has affected everything, this, this this wicked kingdom, man. And these celebrities are really impacted by it, man. They can't go to concerts. They can't do nothing. 
They just like everybody else, man. And show you that they don't run nothing, man. You hear them talking about, I'm the king. I run this. I run that. If you run everything, why you can't do a concert? Esau could shut these niggas down, you know, instantly, man. You see? That's all it is. Filthy lucre sick, man. Whether it's uh, people, you know, looking at you like you deep or Esau paying you off, man. You know? Says, let me see. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, because these 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 uh rappers, they're considered prophets. You got some of them that uh call themselves so prophets, man. You know, and they're rap lyrics, man. You know? It says, said the Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound of faith. Okay? Let me see. Yep, it says not giving head to Jewish fables and commandments. Because that's who runs them, so-called Jew. He runs everything. That's why you can't speak up about them, you know? You speak up about them, you're you, uh, you going to get checked on that. But see, we we saw, we saw were bought and paid for uh, by Yahweh Shah, man. Y'all bought and paid for, okay, by Esau Edom, man. You're bound to a contract. You can't say certain things. You got to do what he tells you, you know? Or else, man. See, that's see, see, see. That's why the scriptures say in the book of John, I believe the fourteenth chapter. You know, Yahweh Shah, He is the way. Okay, He is the truth, man. Okay, and truth shall set you free, man. See, they bound to that contract by Esau that they sold out to. They can't do nothing, you know, and they're not going to do nothing. It says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth onto the pure. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Because Rick Ross and Lolly J, they don't really don't believe, you know. Because, like I said, they if they did believe, they would, if the moment they heard, you know, that they were Israelites, you know, they would drop all, you know, they would stop, you know. Basically, they would stop. They would have got rid of all their riches, man. They would have uh, uh, changed themselves into the lowest state, like it says in Sirach, the second chapter, and serve Yahweh Shah. You know, but they're not going to do that, man. Because why? Because they don't believe. It takes a, a belief to do that, man, and faith, you know. But who has that? The elect, the remnant, you know. Says, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Just like us get that word reprobate, you know. The word is adakimos, adakimos, and it says not standing the test. Like I said earlier, they're not willing to, uh, you know, lose everything for your Shah's sake and suffer for his behalf on his behalf. Okay, they want the broad. They want to go in the bro They want the Broadway, man. Okay, they want the easy route, and your is not dealing with that, man. The Heavenly Father's not dealing with that. You know, it says property used of metals and coins. You know. Then uh, the Lord say, I will make a man more precious than the fine gold, a golden wedge of Ophir, which is a special gold, you know. That which does not prove itself such as it ought. Okay. Unfit for, unfit for, unproved, spurious, reprobate. And you see right there, it says down there, reject it, man. Okay. That's why you're not going to repent because you've been rejected. By the Heavenly Father. He's, he, he, you got the spirit on you. He's put the spirit on you that you won't repent. So he's going to be justified and destroying you, man. You know? Reject. You know? That's why you can't receive the truth. That's why you lack faith. Because that's that's even given from on high, man. You, uh, you don't just have faith. The Heavenly Father gives it to you, man. You know? Uh, let me see. Yep. 
This is uh Jeremiah eight probably ending on this. Jeremiah eight and eight says, How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain may he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken low. They have rejected the word of the Lord, because they're reprobates. And what wisdom is in them, man? Okay? They'll probably accept that they, you know, they Israelites, but other than that, they not gonna uh they're not gonna hearken, man. You know? As long as they see this little free show called America still running, which is not gonna be running, we 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 in the time of its destruction now. They think uh it's no this this doesn't profit them, but okay, we'll see. Says, therefore will I give their wives unto others and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For everyone from and that's gonna happen too, you're gonna lose everything. Okay? See if you if if if, if you're not under the heads of Yahweh by Shema Shah, if you're not an Israelite, but if you are Israelite and you're not under the heads of Yahweh by Shema Shah in these times, you're gonna lose everything. People starting to lose their work. They're gonna lose their houses. So I'm gonna do a video on that. No? They're gonna lose everything, man. That's why people are gonna lose it, man. You know? It says for everyone that from the least, right? From your average Jake that's in the on the street corners, just cocked up on the street corners, sitting on they, they lawn and shit, you know? On to the greatest, Rick Ross, Beyonce, Jay Z, all of them, man, is given to covetousness from the prophet, even on to the priest. Everyone did it falsely, for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace, you know, trying to, uh, uh, uh still trying to, uh, uh, do that Martin Luther King, you know, we can want, we try to be equal, you know, we want the uh, so called blacks and whites to be equal, man. It's not going to happen, man. This man is your enemy, man. Okay? This man is clearly your enemy. He clearly shows that he will never, okay, that they will never uh, 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 be friends with you, man. So what if they so-called move, I mean, marching the Black Lives Matter? They don't give a shit about you. You know? They doing that because either it was paid off or they trying to cop a plea because they see their destruction is at hand. You know? See? Jake don't know their enemy though. You behind enemy enemy lines and don't know who your enemy is or how he operates. That's the worst thing. That's the worst position you could possibly be in. To be behind enemy lines and don't know that you have an enemy. You know? This is uh when they were ashamed, when they had committed abomination, nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall, man. You won't fall. Okay, with well Esau, that the man you like to sell to your daddy Esau, he won't fall with the rest of these jakes, man. Just cause you got money, you got stash, you ain't getting away. The heaven father got out for you, you gonna get you gonna get got too. You know? In the time of their visitation shall they be cast down, saith the Lord, man. And how about Shema Shah? I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and leaves shall fade away. And the things that I have given them shall pass away from them because Real quick, let me see. Bear with me. Actually, you know what? Bear with me. Yep. This is uh first Samuels, right? I started one. It says, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, my horn is 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 exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Shah, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our power. Talk no more so ex oh, exceedingly proud like you people do. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth.
For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Okay? The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble at gird, stumble are girded with strength. Proving what? You need, you jakes, you need a higher power, man. You're not going to fight your enemies, okay, carnally on your own, man. You need divine intervention. But anyway, it says they, they that were full have hired out themselves for bread. You know what that's going into. And they that were hungry cease. So that he that the barren have born seven, and she have many children is wax feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord make maketh poor and maketh rich. You got rich because the Lord allowed that. And the Lord's gonna take that away. Okay? He's gonna take that away. They ain't gonna put you to death, man. Because the Lord, what the Lord would do when he judge you. Okay, especially if you're proud, because the Lord hates pride, you know. The Lord, the Lord judge you, he makes sure he humiliates you, man. Okay? He makes sure when he judge you, he'll he humiliate you, man. It's like uh in fact, man. That march that they did in uh Louisville, you know? When the uh in fact member accidentally shot off, was it wasn't an accident, the Heavenly Father did that. He shot off, uh shot, you know what, two or three members of his congregation. And they was marching against, you know, the so-called white man. And who had to uh, 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 come and pick him up and send him to the hospital? The so-called white man. See how humiliating that was? That's embarrassing, man. You know, you marching like you uh, uh, like you militant. Then you, you one of your con uh, members of your, uh, your coalition accidentally shoot another member, man. The same people you protested to, you had to go to in order to get patched up. See? It says... Let me read again. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's Yahweh by Shemal's sides, and he have set the world upon them, man. You know? So, the Lord make you, makes you poor and makes you rich, man. When you see a person on the side of the road begging for change, that's the Lord that did that to that person. You know, they say, well, he fell on bad times. Well, the Lord caused that to happen. See, that's the that's a problem with you people. Okay, you Americans, you don't consider as a higher power. You think everything is, is, is of men, you know. It's, uh, uh, uh let me see. This is the ninth verse. It says, he will keep the feet of his saints, which that's the Israelites, but this storm with the elect. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness, but by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces, man. Because two-thirds of adversaries, two-thirds of you on this side, your adversaries to the Heavenly Father, man. You hate your power, man. So the Lord hates you, man. You know? You know? It says, they that, that hate me love death, man. You know? You hate the Lord, so you love death. Two-thirds of you. Okay? It says... Out of heaven he shall thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king. And exalt the horn of his anointed. Okay. It's going to start with Yahusha. Because Yahusha is coming back. You know the second coming. He's coming back to show his power man. You know. And great glory man. Then he's going to raise up his men. Yahweh right is not one of those men. You brothers and even you sisters. That believe. Do believe. Listen learn. You're part of that too man. You know. This is what the Lord's getting ready to do. And all these people. That, that 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 came against your house, child. They gonna be, you know, he gonna first. You see him what he's doing now. He's bringing them down low, and then they gonna be put to death, man. You know, and you Israelites that was wicked on this side, you just gonna have to be reborn, righteous in the kingdom, man. And you are gonna be alright, man. You know, it's a good, it's a good ending, you know, for Israel at the end of the day, you know. But that's how, that's what it's gonna be, man. You know. So, I think a point was made, you know. Uh, call hello, Allah, Yahweh, by Shema Shah, Yahweh, right to this was edifying. Okay, Slaki, um, Baba Gesha, Baba Bo, Baba Bo, Aba Ha Ayabia, Aba Ha Ayabia, Shalom, you know, to the elect and to the few Aqua, if you feel like sisters that do listen, learn and believe, Shalom, repent, you know, as well, Shalom.